up guys? So I was thinking lately, how can we add more books to our life? Now I know a lot of you want to read more, but it can be hard because you have school and work. It's hard to find the time. Now, reading is super important. Carl Jung, the famous psychologist, said that stories are what makes us human. We tell other people our stories, and the story has an archetype of ourself, the hero, the lover, the warrior, the king, the magician, the triumph and loss and disaster. So when we tell other people, we learn from storytellers and the things that we read. So very powerful because our life is a whole search for meaning. Every day we're searching for a purpose, for a meaning. And being social creatures, we look to what's going on on social media because that's easy access. I can see the moments in the lives of other people right at my fingertips. But I think it's destructive because it's very shallow and it shows you their highlight reel. And when you take the eyes off of yourself and put it on others, you lose focus of your own life. And it's just not how the brain was meant to evolve. Now, if you want to get into reading more, there's a couple tips I have. The first one is, let's just examine the average book. This is Fire in the Belly by Sam Keen. Now, an average book I've discovered is about 250 pages. 300, 350, all right? We'll get 100 page, plus or minus. So 250 to 350. If you were just to read 10 pages a day, 300 pages, that's a book a month. 10 pages, no big deal. But we wanna read more than a book a month, right? 12 books a month, 12 books a year is still more than 95% of people. It's, I forgot the statistic. It's like 98% of people don't even read half a book a year. People do not read, guys. And there's a load of wisdom. There's a load of stories in stuff like this, right? So we're gonna go on compelling people. This is fantastic. We'll probably touch on this soon. Wait, this is 300 pages. 270, right? Not that hard. Eight pages a day in a month. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Not that hard, okay? So, speaking of the archetype, check this out. You probably saw this on Elliot Hulse's channel, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover. Rediscovering the archetypes of the mature masculine. <sighs> yeah, this is a cool book. But this is 150 pages, guys. All right? That's five pages on the toilet. Now, say you're on the toilet. If you just left a book by your toilet, why are you taking a shit? And you read one page a day from a 365 page book, that's a book a year, right? That easy, two pages a day, that's two books that you could read a year just by taking a dump, all right? Even, what do you shit, once a day, twice a day, unless you're constipated? So it's that simple. Check this book out, I'm, I'm trying to start now. Now how am I gonna do this? Brandon Sanderson's Words of Radiance, awesome story, adventure, this is a fiction book, but man, is it packed with some leadership, wisdom, uh, and just just a great adventure. So, 1,080 pages. There's about 90 chapters. So a chapter a day, no big deal, I can do that when I'm laying in bed, right? Leisure, reading, three months. That simple. While I'm reading, on top of everything else. So what I've done is I put books on my, by when I'm having my coffee, you know, I don't have a coffee table, but when I'm having coffee, when I'm, in the bathroom, I put them in my living room, I put them in my car, so when I'm at the gym, you know, I'm pumped up, and I'm, I'm, I'm reading something from the warrior of light, giving myself these good mindsets to take with me throughout the day, maybe the art of manliness, uh, you know, seven manly virtues, to start your day, a little daily devotional, you want to have multiple books in your head at once, I remember there was a time where I was reading Arnold Schwarzenegger's Total Recall, I was reading a fantasy book, I forgot what it was, I was reading The 48 Laws of Power, I was listening to an audiobook, and I had all these different, I had counsel from every corner, different things going on in the connections I made, I mean, some of the, my favorite videos that I make are when I'm reading a ton of books, because I have all these ideas, I have like all these windows of stuff open I can talk about, and back to audiobooks, turn your car into a university on wheels, Brian Tracy, that is powerful stuff. Why? The average audiobook is probably 30 chapters. One chapter a day in your car. One book a month. 
easy. And guess what? You know what you could, the beauty of Audible is? You can change the speed to 1.5. You can do, do it to 1.05, 1.25, 1 1.5. You can go up to 2, all the way up to 3 right? times the average speed. It's crazy how fast your mind will adapt to the speed uh, if you just open up your mind and say, I can do this. Like I've heard so many people say, I can't listen to a book that quick. It's too quick. I won't, I won't obtain anything. Trust me, man, your brain will click. I cannot listen to a book any longer on just regular speed. I swear they slow that thing down. If you get used to hearing it at 1.5, I'm at two speed. I'll slow it down to 1.5 here and there just to kind of, you know, take it all in. But for the most part, I want two because I can, I can drive and like listen to this stuff and hold it and get that gold nugget out that I need. So don't hold yourself back. If you listen on two, that's two books a month, right? Audiobooks. Crazy. Speaking of what I'm reading this week, I was going to do it on the live stream, but I'm listening to Hannibal and Me. Um, Hannibal and Me, this is, it's an audiobook. And Hannibal, the story of Hannibal thousands of years ago, and him and the Carthaginians against the Roman legions, he had a battle where he was, he killed 70,000 people in one day. And this was not a battle. They didn't have M16s and, you know, shotguns and stuff where, they didn't have any of that. They had catapult. They had slingshots, bow and arrows, and, and hardcore, you know, mail, chain, and armor. And they were beating the shit out of each other with clubs. Massive elephants stopping over the horses and the people and starving them in the valleys. This dude was nuts. Cannibal was a character that traveled across the Alps. And, like, Alexander the Great wanted to, you know, do the same thing and be known as this guy. Um... Crazy stuff. Anyways, I think you would really enjoy that. We're listening to that this week. Probably be touching on that a little bit. But guys, just tips to listen to more books. Get out there. Start reading more. You can do it. I'll see you guys soon.